Yo. Yo. All right, so All right. I don't want shit for this. As long as you're not giving it back to the people that try to rob me. Listen, uh, I'm not going to sit here and like loose slip type shit. Whatever their group does in their spare time has nothing to do with the pharmaceutical shit that KJ and I care about and have worked all these fucking months for. So if that's the case, I'll push on myself. Uh, yeah, I was buying them for me and KJ. We run the numbers. Everything goes through us. Um, KJ wants the bags back, so I'm going to call you and get them back. And I'll sell them myself. It's not about them. It's about the bags. So that's how it is. That's the score. But, I mean, he needs to... I think everybody needs to kind of realize, like, this could have came back on you. I, and this is Ming. I completely understand. I'm not like. I feel like you know how the company works. We've yeah, been yeah, given I know, free I know. control over our shit to do the farmer. We're generating money. Everybody's happy with what we're doing. But like my grasp over Sly's group it, it is like non-existent. So like I don't want them doing shit like this. It doesn't benefit us because then it can fall back on me because we are technically all under the same umbrella. And I mean, you know that, right? You, you fucked with it for a little bit when I first came around and joined. So you saw how it was like. It's better now, but I, I don't want them doing dumb shit that's going to fall back on the company and therefore me as the drug dealer with KJ. Wow, I mean, that might be something you need to talk to them about because I don't know. I, I mean, mean th that's the thing. Listen, if it was anybody else, I mean, I probably would have been up in Sandy and fucking run everybody's pockets up there by now. And I mean, listen, like that, as soon as we found out, like me and my boy, it's like, I, I kind of feel like they were the dumbest motherfuckers because I'm not going to sit here and glaze, but I wouldn't be trying to rob you doing money. That's why I'm happy going through you and Fanny because I know you're going to get the job done and I don't have to think about getting robbed or robbing other people. I just pay, like, that, that's what the tax is for. You know, the cost is because you're going to get it done. Yeah. Um, th th That's all it comes about. So like, if they're going to try and ro rob people and it's going to fall back on our group, yeah, it's a fucking problem because we do not have time I mean, you, you see how the percents are every day, bro. Like, we're working our asses off, and it's not because I'm there 16 hours a day. Like, all of this is, like, months of work. I don't want to be in any violence or any turf violence that we can avoid. And if they're going to bring that to us, like, I do not want that. Kaja doesn't want it. I'm not going to say they're dumb and they shouldn't have done it, but it's like, bro, if, don't bring us into it. Uh, and I don't think he's fucking stuck running around KJ. with 400 bags of weed. I, mean, I don't know. Like, it's just dumb. I'm going to be real. Yeah, well, uh, your shit's on the trunk. I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, maybe not the best time, but if Fanny wakes up, I do have some more money for her. Um, obviously, I don't want any trouble between the two of us, and, and, and Fanny included, and I mean, everything you guys are doing. Obviously, there's no way that I can ever be a sole operator and not have to, you know, maybe there's going to become a time where we have no choice, but not, not this. I'm not down for that. KJ's not. We worked hard for everything that we do, and we're not going to, like, have it fucked over for something dumb that could be avoided. That, that's all it comes down to. So, you know, just throwing it out there, Mike. Would you ever consider switching sides? I'm going to be honest. I really like everything that you and Fanny do from what I see. But I owe absolutely everything to KJ. If there's a person in the city that's my ride or die, like, I'll, I'll take the bullet for KJ so that he doesn't have to. There ain't no way in hell that I'm going to do anything to jeopardize that. Maybe in the future when this all falls apart, but there's, there's no chance. I'm never going to leave somebody else because I feel like my loyalty is going to be in question. And that's all I've done. Like I've built this for me and KJ to show the people above us like what I can do. And fucking them means fucking KJ. And this is not going to happen. Like, I respect it. I respect it. it. You know, it's just, uh, I figured I'd throw the question up there. I kind of figured when you were talking about KJ that you wouldn't do it. So Yeah. And I mean, I, I appreciate it. And, you know, anything can happen in the city. But until the day that KJ tells me that he doesn't want to do this no more, uh, I'm not going to betray him for no amount of money, even if we get fucked on day in, day out. You know, even if we're getting our pockets fleeced, if there was nothing we could have done to avoid it, KJ and I, like, I'm not, I'm not fucking around like that. That's not what I'm about. Oh, I mean, now another thing though, right? Tom? Is this going to be a problem if, okay, so why did they have Scooby-Doo on them? I'm assuming they've been robbing people over at Cypress, right? <sighs> I'm going to be real. I don't know. I would like to know. I don't. I, and like, you, you know, you've been like honest with me and giving me this stuff for free out of respect that we have between us. If they had those things, I would think that I would already know about it. 
because I'm gonna be real. Th these bags that you have of mine, it's not like you can like fuck our shit over. But at the same time, if we could be getting Scooby's bags, I would love to have them because it means they're not selling them. You know what I mean? So if they yeah. have a way to get them, I would love to know. I feel like I should and KJ. And if they're robbing them for it, that's really bad because we don't want we don't want that shit. Like th this weed game, I'm sure you've been fucking around. Like I see, like I'm sure you're aware of how it works. It's so much work that even one day of getting your pockets fleeced is, is a huge loss. Like, you're better off just sitting your head down and doing the job than causing any drama. So if they're robbing people in Cyprus and then going and robbing you, that's two people, groups in one day, one of which we're already cold warring with and one of which is completely unrelated. Like, what are we going to do when I'm up in Sandy and you're coming and Cyprus is coming to fuck my ass? Like, what, what am I supposed <laughs> to do then? Like, that's... I don't know. I have no idea. We're going to figure it out. That's what I mean, man. I mean, shit, yeah, you got to talk to them because, I mean, if they have their starting like, trouble for you, then, I mean, shit. I, all I know is their group, like, their group have the opportunists. You know what they're like? They, they, they have, like, they're old school fucking Southsiders, bro. Like, they, they live for the fucking licks and all that shit. Oh, yeah, bro, like, I stole the gun, hunting rifle lick, like, 50k furs. Like, they love it. They absolutely love it. But, I mean, there's a time and a place. And especially if you're going to bring heat on us, like, do that shit in your own time. Don't ever let it come back to our business. But if they are, like, I don't know, I don't, I don't want that. I'm not the boss, so I'm just, all I can do is, like, give my opinion and hope it's heard. Uh, I mean, shit, yeah. I mean, maybe just give them your opinion then. See, we, see what's up with it, bud. Yeah, yeah, I will. I mean, I mean, this, like, it's none of your business, but me and KJ's relationship and, like, the information given to I called him and told him exactly what you told me. I said, listen, there's a possibility that Ming, like, mix some things, like, this side and the other it's possible but if he has the bags i'm gonna buy them back kj said yeah do it get the bags back i said all right say this like i'll go get them back um you know our our dialogue between each other nothing's held back i told him everything as i heard it and it's up to him like what we do but realistically we don't give a fuck about violence that people create that has nothing to do with us and if they're going to keep doing it kj doesn't want that and i don't either i i I'm going to be honest, I get real fucking annoyed and pissed off when my time's wasted doing this weed shit because it takes so much effort, so much effort that, yeah, like I said, even a day is too much for me. Like, it's not hours. I need to be there for nine a day. It's like a day lost that we could have been doing work is a day that we have to make up. So, yeah, I, we're not about it at all. All right. Um, um, out of curiosity, do you know who else it would have been? I think we know three or four names. I'm gonna be real. Out of the, the only X, XBSK people that I know is like Cal. But I feel like you would know Cal. You know what I'm saying? Like, he doesn't even roll with them anymore. I have no idea who the fuck their boys are. You know, I talk to Sly and sometimes we see Kane. The only person that I would say that I talk to even daily is literally just Sly. Like, Sly sells weed with us, but the rest of them, like, I don't know their gang at all. I know that OTT used to run it. I know that they kind of exist now, but slide dipping in with them is like his side thing of a side thing. Like he's doing weed with us as like a help, as like manpower. He, he technically isn't even under KJ. Like he's not. He's KJ's equal in a different hemisphere. So like he sells weed with us, but it's not. You don't see that creating I, I, problems I, in the future? You know, something like this happening and then. <laughs> no, bro. Me. Yeah. Believe me, bro. That's the thing. The, the, whole, the company's whole MO is we're not Southside gangsters. And yet, one of the branches, and don't get me wrong, maybe he's wrong. Sly's been good to me. I think he's a decent enough guy, and he's obviously been like helpful, and he's there. But realistically, that group, they're Southside gangsters. They they wanna they wanna be doing hood shit, and I think that's fun and done fun. It's cool, but the company isn't a gang. The, the company is meant to be like an organization that's mostly legal, with everything done kind of like smart and more discreet. Like they're not. That's not that. I, uh, I mean, I don't know about smart and discreet, man. They were fucking blatant as shit. I, I don't know what I mean, the that's, fuck that's they the, were doing, bro. They they stupid as fuck. Oh, oh, them? Oh, nah, yeah. I have no idea, bro. They, I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and put shade. What happened? They lost. Like it is what it is. There's no need to cry about it. But bro, like they had fucking 400 bags of weed. Like what? What if you left? What if you had a PD gun and you put it on them? And one of those motherfuckers got sent back for fucking drug trafficking and a 100k PD gun fine. Like that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not like, even that, bro. I could just left the bags of weed on them. They would have been fucked. They would have been fucked. That's what I'm saying. So that, that's why. Like, I, I don't know why they did it. I understand that they thought it was opportunistic, but at least do it smart. And I mean, if you lose, you lose. You walk away. But 
I'm not going to say please, but don't for them, like don't bring another section into it because I care a lot about my time in the city and the time that we've put in. And I'm not going to let it be jeopardized in any way if I can at all stop it. Well, that's the and thing too, right? Gonna... I mean, if they got caught with the fucking weed on them as well, or the cops, you know how many cops would be up in fucking Sandy looking for your shit. They'd be taking pictures. They'd be all over it. I, I know. Once I, they I figure know. it out, like... I mean, they you know believe how they me. Are. Like the thing is, I know how they are, and, and the thing is as well, because of the waves that we're making with this dumb fucking app, people are gonna be upset with us soon. I, I don't know. Like, do you guys push? Uh, like, yeah. The, the, this shit, I'll, I'll give you. I'll tell you this. It, it is unbelievably, like, unbelievably unfair. The, the system is like, if you're starting late, you have to work harder than I've been working for the past as long as we've been doing business and then some while we're also doing the job it's so bad to catch up that even if you fucked on someone for an entire week and they didn't sell a single baggie if you were like you know down in the 20s you still wouldn't catch up like it's a mono it's it's insane so i'm fully prepared for people to realize that they have to kind of stop us soon they don't really need to stop us because you're going to catch up eventually but if you want to get there now there's no way. Like, you can't catch up. If you want to get there now, it's it's like a month of work yeah. every single day. It's it's like people are going to start getting antsy and start fucking with us day in, day out. It's not going to make a huge difference because it's a lot of work. But I would prefer that they come a lot later than sooner. And if people are starting beef like this, like, it's... I don't know, bro. It's just fucking dumb. Like, yeah. I don't know. All right, man. Well, I mean, I guess we're going to talk to KJ about it, but... I mean, I ain't planning on yeah. doing shit to them, but, you know, if they try it again, then. I mean, if they if they try it again, bro, like, uh, I'm not, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and glaze. I'm just going to say, like, if they try it again, I hope that I can still come and give you the roles tonight when if anyone wakes up. And, like, you know, if it comes to there's no other option, they keep doing it, and I can't stop them. I mean, you know how it is. Like, I can't stop them. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Like, it's business, man. You know how it is. It is just business, exactly. But I appreciate the bags. Um, I'll see what I can do because, again, like, I don't want it. Uh, KJ doesn't want it. But at the end of the day, like, I just hope that it doesn't have to come to that. At, at least give it a little longer, bro. Like, I would prefer not to be doing war over this shit for, like, one more month. Let it, like, settle a bit. But, again, like, we'll see. No, no, you good, man. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. Appreciate it, man. All good, bro. Thank you.